Hey y'all, today I'm here with Jan and uh, his camper van and uh, he's gonna show us around. Let's have a tour. This is my van. It's a Mercedes 608D uh, built in 1975. It's a model called uh, Dudo in Germany because it was built in Düsseldorf. First of all, we have a little bit of storage here, which includes the uh, grey water tank and for me some, some tools and uh, things I need on the way for repairing and that stuff. The whole van has a length of uh, 7 meters and 10 centimeters. It's round about 280 in the high and with a carrier on the roof it's round about, <laughs> round about 3 meters and 13 centimeters. Welcome to the rooftop of my van. <laughs> you see like a little bit of extra storage inside for like a barbecue, some shoes, some uh, tools and all that stuff. Same here and here you see the flexible solar panels, max air fan and the roof window. This is the water tank. It's uh, like 120 liters of fresh water. Here we have the back storage. This is for water, drinking water, and some of my drinks like beer and Coke and all that stuff. Also some things I need for changing the oil, gas tank bottle, so you can fill it up, fill it up uh, at the gas station. Uh, it has an automatic stop at 80%, so nothing can go wrong and it's also allowed to fill it up then. Yeah, here we have uh, another bottle here from Germany. Uh, which, uh, yeah, in Germany you can fill up, in Spain you can, <laughs> but you shouldn't, maybe. And, um, yeah, it's a, a steel bottle and both bottles, uh, they have 20 liters, 22 liters of liquid gas. And so it's for cooking and also for my heater, which is a gas heater. I'll show you inside then. Yes. That's the back. We have uh, like this uh, three big windows, which are actually uh, very old school. I think from the beginning of the 80s, which were in something like an old caravan. And um, yeah, the whole thing was uh, built in the beginning of the 80s when they changed from a truck, more or less truck to a caravan and Yes, so we have these old windows. I think I will maybe replace them this year because they get more and more, uh, yeah. And that, they are not so good anymore. <laughs> yes. This is for gas. Yeah, that's, uh, this is another uh, little door because uh, it was built with a, um, with a gas um, fridge. And so you needed to, to go there, but uh, I changed it to a 12 volt compressor. So it's just extra ventilation? Yes, it's just extra ventilation, but it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, very, very genius because um, uh, the fridge inside has uh, lots of fresh air from outside. And so uh, it's very, very uh, energy efficient yeah. because it gets cooled from outside especially, with the wind. Especially in hot summer days. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes, and here we have uh, the fill up for uh, diesel. It's uh, under here and like here for uh, uh, like voltage from outside when you, when you go to the campsite or something like this and yes. So yeah, the whole thing is uh, 3.8 uh, liters machine with uh, 85 horsepower. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's, very slow. <laughs> it's very slow, but yeah, you, uh, it's, it, yeah, you get everywhere and it's definitely worth it because uh, yeah, you have no stress, you are going slowly, you, um, yeah. So what is cruising speed? It's like uh, 85 <laughs> kilometers per hour and uh, max is round about 105, but you would not go it on the highway because it's much too loud and you take uh, much too much fuel, you so know? What is 
It's round about 12.5 liters. Depends on the area where you're going. When it's very steep hills, it's a little bit more, but uh, yeah, round about 12.5 liters. So it's okay, it's quite okay for a machine which is 47 years old and uh, yeah, like such a big car. So when you take this modern, so what is that around 4.5 tons, round about, it can uh, have up to six tons. So uh, yeah, I have lots of extra space left. Uh, but yeah, that's a, the good thing about these old vans, they can carry a lot. Welcome inside my van. Uh, yeah, here's everything from inside. This is my uh, dashboard. As you see, it's uh, everything. Vintage. Yes, everything is very vintage, very old school. But uh, yeah, I like it uh, very much. So it's a totally diff different haptic uh, compared to the modern cars and everything is like stable and, and heavy and uh, yeah, it's uh, all analog, no digital, uh, except this radio, <laughs> which is actually an, uh, an upgrade uh, with uh, uh, Apple CarPlay. So when you are on the, on the road uh, so much as we do it, so you, you need a good, yeah, a good screen for navigation and music and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but it's uh, beside this, uh, the back uh, camera, it's, uh, the only digital stuff in the, in the dashboard. <laughs> we have uh, two uh, places to, to sit here. Um, so we can uh, upgrade uh, to four places with little chairs, you know, which uh, come here and here. So you can sit uh, with four persons. I have them over there. This uh, area, you can transform it uh, to a guest bed. Uh, like, I think it's very classical when you uh, put down the table. We got uh, this storage above here. It's a uh, for my uh, sports equipment and uh, for chairs and uh, hammocks and all that stuff and uh, all miscellaneous stuff. Yes, <laughs> stuff for being uh, lazy. <laughs> Here we have a very thick curtain, a thermal curtain. It's like uh, for closing this uh, inner living room. When it's cold outside, you can just do it with magnets and then. Uh, it's like all closed and so the warm air which is here inside stays inside and not goes to the uh, driver room. All window has these uh, handmade curtains. A friend of mine uh, made them. About the solar panels and battery, how much do you have? Yes, for solar I have uh, 380 watts on the rooftop. And I have this uh, 100 ampere hours uh, lithium battery. For me, it's like uh, more than enough. So the solar panels are producing so much uh, electricity that I, yeah, most mostly have 100% inside when I'm in Spain. And so that's not the problem. This is uh, my kitchen. So we we have uh, this typical gas stove. Uh, from Setford, I think uh, many people have it. It's like a good uh, compromise between, yeah, uh, the the look and feel and what you what you got for cooking. This is my my fridge. It's a 12 volt compressor fridge from uh, Dometic. It's uh, I guess uh, 55 liters, and you can uh, also put in a freezer and you can remove it. But I remove it because so I have more space for uh, normal yeah, fridge. for normal fridge so I don't need a freezer this is a little uh, kitchen hood which was uh, also built with a, a little uh, machine for uh, putting the air outside it's also from the 70s or something but it doesn't work anymore because it uh, 
it got a, a Kurzschluss, you know, it got a... Uh, yeah, it got a short circuit because it's very old, so you can't use it anymore. But you have uh, some airstream yeah. to outside to the outside. Yes. But, uh, you bought it already like this? Or you yes. Built, uh, you didn't do much building at about. I no, I didn't do much building. I changed some stuff. The, the kitchen is new, and the uh, the bathroom I I built it built it up new, and also we uh, built up the bed. Uh, yeah, like a little bit higher and all that stuff for the dog to that he can have his uh, his cave under the bed. Yeah. Yes. And how much did it cost to buy such an old vehicle? <laughs> yeah, the vehicle uh, I paid uh, eleven thousand euros, but there were yeah many things to do still because uh, yeah the painting was very bad. We did it completely new uh, last summer and. Um, yeah, all things inside were very old from the beginning of the 80s. Also, this uh, the sinks and all all the things in the uh, in the bathroom and so yeah, you you had to renew it from from time by time and so yeah, I did some new stuff uh, in the last two years. So now nearly everything is like a little bit renewed. <laughs> yeah. and how much approximately invested did it cost? Uh, it's. Uh, I would say around about six thousand euros, six seven thousand euros for renewing everything, and uh, yeah, I guess it's it's round about twenty now. I would, uh, it got new tires a few months ago, um, which was yeah very necessary. <laughs> but you yeah with this truck tires and uh, you need uh, seven pieces, uh, seven tires, so you uh, are around about two, 2,200 euros and it gets, it gets expensive. <laughs> Here we have uh, the sink and it's uh, like uh, with this pull-out water tap, I think uh, everybody knows it and the water system is like a pressure system, so you just uh, have to turn it on and the pump is, uh, is going and then uh, yeah, you have water. <laughs> like uh, in your home and uh, yeah we have a little cupboard here which uh, friends of mine uh, did uh, who are carpenters they just uh, I took them from Germany to Spain a few months ago and uh, as a yeah as a present for me they they built build up this little cupboard <laughs> yes and so uh, we have this uh, lamps here installed, which are also in the back, like all should be a little bit old school and that it fits for this old van. We have this uh, upper storage here. It's like uh, for things like dog food and all that stuff, things you need daily are inside here, the food for the dog. And um, yeah, it's uh, built like when you open it, you, you have light, so you see everything and Yes, you have some things like tea and stuff and here's some other blankets for Lenny, for the dog and uh, yeah, so we in, in everything, in every, we have some, uh, some things inside like uh, this is more like the electrical stuff for a laptop and all the, all the things and yeah, so it's this upper storage is going around <laughs> and behind the bed you have extra storage already. yeah you have extra storage there but uh, it's uh, all things which you don't need daily because it's a little bit uh, complicated you have to uh, pull up the, the mattress okay. and then uh, yeah it's like with some little uh, wood covers which you can uh, pull up under this you have the storage yeah. Yeah. and how big is the bed uh, the bed is uh, around about uh, 195 to 140 so for me it's uh, yeah like perfect but i yeah i sleep uh, square <laughs> like this a little yeah, bit uh, diagonal. yeah diagonal yes and so um yeah it's a lot of space for me and uh, lenny has his own space <laughs> so where is lenny this is my dog lenny it's my travel buddy um he's three and a half years old and uh, He's a miniature bull terrier, so uh, as you see, he has a little bit uh, banana nose. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's my best friend and my travel buddy, so we do everything together. Yeah. And how long have you been on the road already? 
uh, on the road. I've been um, since uh, 2017, but uh, before this van I built up a T4, but uh, without a high roof and so I was living in it already for one and a half years and then decided it is enough when you're living in the van. I needed more space and a high roof and all that thing, all that stuff and yeah, so I bought this one. <laughs> and, and you're still working normally 9 to 5 just from home, right? Uh, yes, I work uh, normally, uh, like uh, I'm a self-employed web developer, but I only uh, work part-time, so four or five hours a day, maximum, uh, not full-time job, so you have a little bit of uh, free time when you're traveling. Yeah, to have a balance yes. between work and Yes, nature. exactly. And you made this nice fruit basket. Yes, there's a, a fruit basket, yeah, which is very uh, practical because it's like uh, very cheap and you can put many things inside and it, yeah, it stays fresh and yeah. you always have the food, uh, the fruit. <laughs> it's more like fruit net. <laughs> yeah, like more like a net. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here we have uh, my Bluetooth speaker, all that thing, like some more little cupboard. Here we have the the wardrobe, so it's like a quite big for uh, all your clothes, you have a lot of space for it and yeah. Under here we have the, uh, the heater, it's an old Truma, uh, Trumamatic, it's a gas heater. You have this uh, little openings on the floor yeah. where the, the, the hot air comes outside when you turn on the Trumamatic and uh, I put one of them in uh, Lenny's cave. So when it's uh, very uh, cold outside, you just can open it up and it gets warm in his cave also. Yeah. <laughs> Do you usually use it with fan or sometimes without fan as well? Uh, most, time, most of the times I, I use it without the fan. Mm -hmm. Only when it gets very uh, cold outside, right. then uh, I have to uh, have some extra uh, heating on the floor. <laughs> Under here it's a fan you saw on the roof, it's a Max Air fan, everybody might know it, so I have feel like a little uh, thermo thing for uh, yeah, thermotide um, that it doesn't get so cold because it always has like a little air gap inside um, and yeah, so with this thing on you just uh, keep uh, the warm air inside. <laughs>some light inside here which you can turn on and uh, yeah it's like also this old-school sink but which you, you install it you yes not here. Same as yes in the kitchen. same as in the kitchen I, I uh, renewed it it was all like this old-school uh, 80s uh, things with all plastic and all that stuff and we have the same thing here with uh, the, with the water tap also a pull-out one you can just uh, grab it and uh, pull it outside the window to have a shower or something. Uh, you could also have a shower inside. Uh, all that stuff here was built for being water resistant, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not worth the time most of the times because uh, it's, uh, it, it's not so comfortable. So I use this for washing and uh, taking a shower outside. So thank you for this uh, little room tour and uh, I hope you got some inspiration out of it and uh, yeah if you uh, like this van and um, if you want to follow us you can do it on Instagram which is uh, dudubert. Thanks for watching, a link to the Instagram account from Jana will leave in the description below and see you in the next one, cheers!